The mermaid is oil covered. Sharko pokes the mermaid with a tree branch to check on her. Sharko covers her corpse under a cloth and carries it home. He struggles to pull the mermaid and his oxygen tank inside, but he succeeds. He fills the tub with ice and puts the mermaid in it while listening to the radio again, as he would to keep fish alive. Other fishermen have caught fish, but they are all shattered and unusable. Sharko looks in the mirror and covers his scars to recall his pre-injury appearance. Sharko dances around the house after catching a mermaid. The phone interrupts him. Another lawyer wants to help him sue Titan International. Sharko hangs up immediately because he does not want to repeat his sorrow for money, and no trial would restore him to his previous life. Sharko hears a peculiar sound from the restroom while drinking and watching TV in the evening. He discovers the mermaid alive and struggling to escape the tarp. Sharko grabs his pistol after closing the door. The mermaid leaps on him again. The mermaid bites Sharko's arm during their floor combat. Luckily, he brought a rope to rewrap her and bind her to the tub. Sharko raises his rifle at her and considers murdering her. But music in his ears makes him drop his gun. Sharko buys plenty of meat the following day. He cleans the mermaid's lungs with Q-tips when he comes home. He feeds her his various meats. After cutting a hole in the net, Sharko feeds the mermaid raw steak. He promises to return for supper after using the restroom. Sharko hears the tune in the restroom while watching TV at night. He brings the TV into the bathroom to watch a program with the mermaid. Sharko quotes bonanza phrases at the mermaid. This program helped his father learn English. Sharko falls asleep in the tub, unaware that the mermaid has been touching him. Sharko awakens at night to a peculiar sound. He finds Breezy has broken in and stolen the radio in the kitchen. Sharko threatens to contact the police, which angers Breezy. He destroys the radio and yells at Sharko for not giving him the boat. The bathroom sounds stop him. Breezy can navigate around Sharko and discover the mermaid in the tub. Breezy is thrilled about how much money they might earn by selling her. But Sharko says he is waiting for the water to grow cleaner before dumping her back in. Plans are halted when Breezy warns you that you cannot keep a mermaid in the pool. He takes equipment and builds a mermaid-sized glass aquarium in Sharko's living room the following morning. Sharko informs Breezy that his father taught him to take pleasure in one's profession. In return, Breezy shows him his father's smoking scars. He thinks the mermaid will help him prove himself. Sharko must warn him not to talk about her, or they will abduct her. Sharko suggests they be captain and deckhand again to calm Breezy. After the last rejection, Breezy is unsure, but Sharko informs him that he has always been harsh on him as a boss because he treats him like a son, as his father taught him. Breezy believes Sharko and is pleased to have a new father figure. Sharko fills the glass aquarium with water and drops the mermaid in after Breezy departs. She loves swimming again. Sharko prepares their evening meal. Since he loves the mermaid, he adds flowers and music. Sharko feeds the mermaid a raw steak and sits in front of the tank to eat while telling her about his dad. Due to Texas' anti-immigrant policies, he struggled to obtain a job. Sharko saw his father shoot the clan away from their home when he was a toddler. Sharko has struggled since the accident, and losing his work seems like losing everything his father established for them. Sharko hears music and sees odd women while talking. Sharko opens the door to see the image of the lady standing there. She enters and feels the empty tank, proving to Sharko that she is the mermaid with a message for the sea. Everyone thanks Sharko for protecting them and being the only one who understands how harmful the oil is. To thank Sharko, the mermaid kisses him and cures his wounds. Sharko and the mermaid dance to Frank Sinatra and make up on the sofa. As he tells the mermaid thousands of fishing tales, he pulls off his shirt to show off his new muscles. Sharko informs her that he no longer wishes he had perished when he fell off the boat now that he has someone who loves him. Sharko spots automobiles in front of his residence some hours later. He orders the mermaid inside while he investigates. Sharko seems scared, showing he has been hallucinating. The fishermen, who came because Breezy informed them about the mermaid, own the automobiles. Since they caught nothing, Sharko was correct about the sea. They believe Sharko should capture the mermaid as a group to sell her and earn food again. Sharko fires the earth to frighten them away when his no fails. He repeats that he is the water king and threatens to shoot them all. Fearful fishermen depart. Sharko returns to the tank where the mermaid is swimming. Her music still drives him wild, and he can still hear her concern in his thoughts. Sharko promises the mermaid they will always be together and invites her to swim. Sharko imagines them diving into the sea together at the beach as he climbs the ladder to the tank. He climbed the staircase and leaped into the tank where the mermaid caught and ate him.